fucking believe it. I mean, seriously, how can they fucking do this shit? I just don't know what to fucking do with myself. I mean, seriously. Management takes all you fuckers out on a summer vacation to fucking Tahiti and shut the fuck up, Phil. I don't want to hear about how magical a goddamn fucking place it is. One more time, I'll fucking beat you with a goddamn tire iron. I mean, I know that they wanted me to do a new format, fucking news and shit, but see this? See this shit? There's not even anything fucking printed on this. It's just fucking prop. What do they want me to do? Make this shit up as I fucking go along? <sighs> we'll do it fucking live. Alright, so it's been three fucking months since I've had a video up here or somewhere about there. I'm not keeping fucking track. The only thing I could count is the number of times I masturbated and I don't have enough fingers and goddamn toes for that. So, new format. We're going to be doing some news for you. And honestly, we're not going to talk about fucking news. What we're going to start off with is a new segment that we're going to call Shit Only I Care About. All right, on shit only I care about, today we're gonna to talk about SDCC because I haven't been on the camera for three months and it's fucking already happened and I'm gonna fucking talk about it. Warner Brothers and DC Comics had a nice little presentation where they showed a snippet of fucking Superman and Batman having a homoerotic flipping eye glow fest staring at each other. And when they did so, they also uh, showed Wonder Woman's costume. All right. Wonder Woman, one of my favorite characters in DC, even though I don't read very many DC comics. I do read a little bit of Wonder Woman, I do read a little bit of Batman, and I have been known to read some Green Lantern and Superman every once in a while. You've got Jason Moma, who is 6'4", playing Aquaman. You have Ben Affleck, who is 6'4", playing Batman. You have Henry Cavill, who is 6'1", playing Superman, who they'll probably put in fucking three-inch heels, so he's 6'4". And then you got Gail Gardo, who is five fucking eight. You put her in fucking four inch heels and she is barely hitting six foot, still four inches shorter than all the other fucking heroes. Now I wouldn't have a problem with this if she was built like a fucking fire plug and looked like she could take Superman, wrestle him to the ground, rip his dick out, shove it down his throat, pull it out his ass, and then hit Batman fucking with it. But she doesn't. She looks like a twig that was blown off of a fucking tree in the middle of a windstorm. Now, when they originally announced her casting, I was optimistic because I've seen actors go from skinny little fence rails to fucking muscular in the space of a few months. You actually see Christian Bale do this when he did The Mechanic and then went and played Batman. He went from like 120 pounds to 175 pounds of muscle. So I was optimistic. But then when DC reveals this costume at SDCC, try fucking saying that five times fast, you expect them to put their best foot forward. And I do not believe they did, sh did so. The costume itself looks fine. I mean, it, it has enough of the original Wonder Woman costume there to be to look good while still looking like it would be something that somebody would wear in the real world. Gail Gardot does not look like she could flip and pull a goddamn hangnail off of somebody, let alone fight a fucking supervillain. I know people say that, yes, it's superpowers and you can be as fucking strong as you want. She's an Amazonian fucking princess that's endued with the powers to fucking be an ambassador to the male race. Da, 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 da. Not going to go into the fucking story. But she's a fucking Amazon warrior. She needs to look like she could kick ass before she was given fucking superpowers. And then if you even think about it, how do the fucking superpowers work? Are they giving her 10 times strength, 100 times strength that she had before? Or is it a finite amount? I personally think that it's probably 10 times, 100 times the strength, which means the stronger she is physically, the more fucking super strength she has too. So unless you're the fucking type that thinks that Jim Carrey should play fucking Superman, then you should be as upset as I fucking am that fucking Wonder Woman looks like she could be blown over in a goddamn windstorm. Fucking movie news. 
In movie news, a few weeks ago it was announced that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be playing Black Adam in the upcoming Shazam movie, which led the internet to ask the question, is he black enough to play the fucking character? All right, motherfuckers, I know that it's a running gag in fucking comics. Black Lightning, Black Panther, if it's a black character, they're going to be called Black Fucking Something. But Black Adam is not a fucking black character in the comics. He's been drawn mostly Caucasian. But honestly, because the character is Egyptian, he could be anything from fairly Caucasian to kind of dark looking. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson falls right in that line. So fuckers, figure out what the fuck you're talking about. And along those same lines, a few months ago, it was announced that Netflix would be carrying several Marvel series, of which includes Heroes for Hire, Luke Cage, and Danny Rand, also known as Power Man and Iron Fist. Luke Cage, one of my favorite characters, is definitely a black fucking character. But Marvel has not announced who's going to play him yet. Marvel, get off your ass and flip and announce this because I want to know. I personally think it should be Michael Jai White. He fucking is huge and kicks ass. Or it could also be Terry Crews. He also fits that bill as well. And then you could take Michael Jai White, who's a martial artist, and make him flipping Power Fist, Danny Rand. Not modern day, there's no reason Danny Rand needs to be a white character. You could have them flipping together, although I wonder how Michael Jai White would look in that gold mask. Also announced a few days ago, Deadpool is finally getting his own fucking movie after they ass-raped him in Wolverine Origins. Coming February 2016, we will see the Merc with the Mouth being played by Ryan Reynolds again. Thank fucking God. If you don't know this, this motherfucker has been trying to get a Deadpool movie going for a fucking decade. One of the reasons I like the guy is back in an interview when he did Blade Trinity. Forget you ever fucking saw that movie. But back when he was doing that movie, they did an interview with him and they asked him, what comic character would you love to fucking play in a movie and he said Deadpool this is back before everybody knew who Deadpool was because he's been getting so much goddamn exposure with Marvel that now he's kind of a common character that everybody knows so Ryan Reynolds is an actual fucking fan of this character and I'm glad to see that he's finally getting the movie that he has been trying to get forever Let's just hope that they keep the team together that has been pushing for this movie for years now, which includes the writers from Zombieland. I personally haven't read the script, but I hear it's fucking awesome. And he even gets to go off on those who made Wolverine Origins. Because if you don't know this, Deadpool is the type of character that breaks the fourth wall all the goddamn time. He knows he's in a comic book. When they make a movie about him, He's going to fucking know he's in a movie and he's going to know that they made Wolverine Origins and let's hope that he fucking shoves his foot up their goddamn asses. 2014 is being called the summer that comedy died. Or at least that's what e. Adam Thomas is calling it. He's the only fucker I listen to. And we have lost some comedic greats this summer. The great Rick Mayall, who was in classics like The Young Ones and Black Adder, but will always have my admiration as an adolescent for jumping out of Phoebe Kate's box and Drop Dead Fred. We also lost Robin Williams, who not only is a great comedic actor, but a dramatic actor as well, pulling in great roles like The World According to Garp and Dead Poet Society, but will probably be best known for making Mork and Mindy a classic just like Laugh-In. I do believe that these greats need to have a moment of silence. Fuck Joan Rivers. The woman had so many goddamn facelifts she could lick the dust off her own fucking vagina. Ah, the moment's ruined. We'll do it live. That joke gets me every time, even though it's so fucking old. You know, I don't think I'll mind this format. Doing live YouTube is kind of fun. It's kind of relaxing, you know, to just fucking get it done in one take. What do you mean it wasn't live? Edited? With jump cuts? Motherfucker!